Hey Joe, it's Gun Shop of Sarasota, and I'm here to talk to the new gun buyers out there. Just this week, I think almost everybody that came into the shop is a first-time gun buyer. Uh, a lot of you folks have been coming from other states, some from other countries. Uh, come in here, you want to get your first gun, you're allowed to have them here. Welcome to America. I just want to go over a few things with you about buying your first gun. First, foremost, firearm safety. Learn everything there is to know about firearm safety. The last thing you want to do is hurt yourself, God forbid, somebody else, by you negligently handling your firearm. And you also want to learn how to store your firearm. You don't want to leave it out somewhere and some unauthorized person, God forbid the child, gets a hold of that firearm and accidentally hurts themselves. So you're responsible for it. So please take a proper firearms training course to learn that safety. Don't just learn it online. Don't just read it out of a book. Take a class with a firearms instructor that has real world experience that can really go over in depth the firearm safety rules. And also in taking that class, you're going to learn about the laws in the state of Florida about pertaining to owning a firearm, keeping that firearm on you, using the firearm, all that stuff. Um, you really want to be 100% confident if you're going to carry or use a firearm for personal protection about where you can have it, where you can't have it, when you can use it, when you can't use it. Now, does that mean you can't buy a gun before you take the class? No, you can, of course you can buy a gun before you take the class. But I would highly suggest before you load the gun, before you go shoot the gun, before you do anything, go take the class. So if you come to a shop, you see a gun you like, that's the one you want, buy it. Then go take the class. Since you don't have the concealed weapons license, you're going to have that three-day wait anyway. Take the class. Um, even if you have to wait a week for the class, you can wait a week to pick up your gun. Or just take it home, put it, leave it in the box, throw it in the safe, whatever you're going to do. Wait till you take the fire and safety class. Now, with buying your first gun, some people find it very uh, confusing, daunting task to go out there and look at all these different guns. Um, it's really not. I'm not going to spend a lot of time in this video on that. Um, if you go to our YouTube page, it's the easiest place to find it. Scroll through some of the videos. You'll see more in-depth videos on how to purchase your first firearm. I'm just going to go real quick. One, what you want to do, figure out what you're going to use this gun for. Is this going to be a home protection gun? Just something you're going to take to the range to plink around the holes in paper? Something that's going to be home protection and to go to the range and just have fun? Or is it going to be something you're going to want to use for concealed carry? So different types of guns there. Um, figure out what you're going to do with the gun, what kind of gun you want. Budget. Now again, when we talk about budget, always leave room when you buy the gun for ammo and your supporting accessories, meaning holsters and stuff like that. I'll go over that in a minute. So, you know, don't just say I got, okay, $500 to buy a gun. That's my budget. You go in there, you find the gun, it's 500 bucks. Okay, now, well, now you got to add ammo and the other stuff to it. So that can add up and, you know, get you the $600 real quick. So it's not a lot, but it does add up. Okay, basically with handguns, you got two different types of ammunition. You got full metal jacket, FMJ, uh, target ammo, range ammo, whatever you want to call it, round ball, whatever. Uh, that's really designed to put holes in paper. It's not really uh, conducive for personal protection for several reasons. Uh, we've gone over that in other videos as well. What you want for personal protection is hollow points. JHP for jacketed hollow points, personal protection rounds, whatever you want to call them. Those are designed specifically for personal protection. To me, it's the more responsible round to carry. Those rounds are designed that once they enter into uh, the subject, the bad guy, that they stay in there. They're not gonna exit. So you're not gonna have that collateral damage. So again, when you go to buy your gun, you're gonna buy range ammo, you're gonna buy personal protection ammo. Uh, don't get confused. Personal protection ammo is a couple dollars more than your range ammo. So don't go wasting it at the range. Uh, yes, we suggest that you fire a few rounds through your gun when you get it of the hollow points just to make sure it cycles correctly. Uh, most of your guns have no problem. Some guns out there do have issues with the feed ramps feeding hollow points into them. So always double check to make sure it's going to work properly in your gun. Uh, we have pretty good experience with that knowing which ammo is going to work in your gun. Okay, last thing I want to go over today is your supporting equipment. Now what I mean by that, listen, you're buying your first gun, there's things that can go along with it. So first off, you're going to have to buy a cleaning kit. Um, the one thing that we can make sure of if we ever have to use our gun in a life-threatening situation is how well-maintained that gun is. So cleaning kits, very inexpensive. Um, simple to maintain your gun nowadays, folks. They come apart easily. It's easy to clean them. You just need the right tools to do it. Remember, work smart, not hard. Again, cleaning kits are inexpensive. Holster. We always recommend always keeping your gun in the holster. If your gun is loaded, it should be in the holster. Even if it's unloaded, keep it in the holster. If your gun's sitting on your nightstand, keep it in the holster. And if you got it sitting in the center console of your vehicle,
keep it in a holster. We always want to keep that trigger guard covered. So there's no issues. There's no potential accidents. So you're going to get a proper holster. Holsters, again, um, you can get a great holster for right around $50. You don't have to get anything crazy. Um, there's several different types of holsters. Again, you come in here, we'll go over them with you and find the best one that we think that's going to suit you. Um, I will tell you, you will probably go through a few different holsters before you find the one you like the best. So we've pretty much tried them all here. We keep trying them all. Um, I still have my personal favorite. But again, that's my personal favorite. Same thing with buying a gun. Just because it's my favorite does not mean it has to be your favorite. You know, find the one that fits you the best. Again, this is just like going out buying a pair of shoes or anything else. You got to find what fits you and what you like. Other things to consider for supporting equipment, uh, eye and ear protection. Now, when you're going to the gun range to practice and train, and yes, we want you to go practice and train. Um, you want to have your own ear protection. Hey, I don't like wearing this stuff at the range that a hundred other people have been wearing because I don't know how clean they are. We'll leave it like that. Side note, ladies, when you go to the gun range, do not wear your low cut blouses. I know all the guys like it. Don't wear them. Always wear something like a normal size t-shirt or a normal cut t-shirt like this or any type of shirt that's cut like this. Uh, reason being, we call it cleavage basketball. You're in that little booth, the wall's right there, spent casing comes out, bounces off the wall. You get my, you get the picture there, right? Gotcha. Other things, range bags. Range bags do make it very convenient when you're going to the gun range to put all your ammo, your eyes, ears, of course the firearm, in one bag, walk in there. A lot of the rangers like to inspect your firearm before you go onto the range. Um, so just an easy way to say here, hand it to the person behind the counter, let them inspect it, go inside, all your gear, your gadgets, all that stuff is in one spot. And speaking of gadgets, if you're gonna go to the range a lot and shoot the semi-automatic, get one of those loaders. It saves your thumbs. If you don't know what I'm talking about, come in and see us. Okay, I'm trying to keep this as short as possible for you. Listen, if there's anything I talked about in this video that you want to see in more detail, we've pretty much gone over everything in videos in the past. So just again, I would go to our YouTube page, scroll down through the videos, you will see them. Um, if you don't find them, you want to know, know more information, PMS, whatever they call it, DM, PM, whatever you want to call it, m ms stop in and see us. We'll answer your questions. Folks, have a great day. I hope to see you soon, and please be careful out there.